Good Friday evening to you, friends. Top headlines tonight. A wiregrass man fighting for his life after being shot at his place of employment late last night. Tanya Pruitt in Baker Hill in Barber County today, where the shooting took place and filed tonight's top story. The small town of Baker Hill is usually quiet, but Thursday night at around 10 p.m., that was not the case as shots rang out at a local business, causing two of its employees to be injured, one of whom was sent to a local hospital. It all happened here at Keystone Foods, a facility known for promoting safety. And for Baker Hill Police Chief Turner, he did not expect his second day on the job to be this tragic. The young man and the female guard were standing talking, and he was acting up for a cigarette, from my understanding. And uh, that's when this incident occurred. According to police, the victim, a black male employee of the plant, was at the guard stand at the entrance of the facility asking for a cigarette from a female security guard when the shooting took place. Shots were fired, and the female was grazed on. On the arm. Um, the female security guard did not have to be hospitalized, but the male victim was not as fortunate. The bullet entered into his neck and came out through his mouth. The male victim was transported to Medical Center Barber before being airlifted to Southeast Health, where he remains in critical condition. Police could not confirm what type of gun was used nor who the aggressor was. We are going to do diligent to get this solved as quick as possible. Representatives from Keystone Foods did not want to comment on camera. No arrests have been made at this time as police say they do not know whether it was an intentional crime or simply an accident. In Baker Hill, Tanya Pruitt, WDHN.